welcome back to Handwriting and Story Mapping with Mrs. Owen. So friends, today we're going to be working on a story map about a time when we got hurt. Now friends, I know we all have times when we've gotten hurt before, right? So today, Mrs. Owens is going to be talking about the time that I broke my nail. Very, very painful, friend. So of course, as you know, with every story map, we have to first begin with our setting. Who can remember what the setting is? Yeah, you got it. The setting of a story is where and when a story takes place. So friends, let me tell you about the setting of my story. So my story, friends, took place in my home and it happened on a sunny Thursday morning. So my key words are going to be Thursday, and I'm going to write morning, just to be specific about the time that it took place. My pictures that I'm going to draw is a nice big sun, since it was a sunny day, and I'm going to draw a picture of a, a building, since I live in a building. Okay, let's do a bunch of windows. Awesome, okay. So this was the setting of my story. Thursday morning, a nice sunny day, and in my building. Now, let's talk about the talking characters in my story. So of course, friends, the talking characters in my stories are going to include moi, okay? myself, and two of my friends. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a picture of myself. Now friends, please forgive Mrs. Owens because I honestly am not the best artist, but I do try the best that I can. And that's all we can hope for, right? So now, this is a picture of myself. And remember, two of my other friends. So I'm going to label this picture as me. Then I'm going to draw another picture of another friend of mine. I'm gonna draw her with her hair. And you see her hair looks different than mine, right? Okay, now, this friend likes to wear pants and she had on a pair of pants that day. So I'm going to put her in a pair of pants, okay? And these pants were kind of like wide leg. There we go. So, this friend is my friend Jackie. So I'm gonna label this Jackie, okay? Remember I said two, so here we go. Here's my last friend that I'm gonna draw a picture of, okay? Now, there we go. Friends, this is my, my good friend, Serena. I'm gonna put Serena in a pair of jeans because she was wearing jeans. She loves jeans, okay? All right. And of course, I'm gonna label this one Serena, okay? So, scholars, my key word is going to be friends, okay? In fact, I'm going to write girlfriends because these are my girlfriends, okay? Girlfriends. So. Now that, I've, now that I've put my setting on my story map, my talking characters, of course I have to put my, oops, there's a problem, right? So let's talk about the problem. Well, friends, as you know, the day I broke my nail is all about the day I broke my nail. So I am going to write the biggest speech bubble and I'm going to say, oh no, I broke my nail. I am going to, well, I don't even have to do that because I'm actually putting it in a speech bubble. Okay, there we go. Okay, so friends, I am also going to draw a picture, another picture to remind myself 
exactly what happened when I broke my nail, okay? It happened when I was pulling out a drawer to find something to put on to go out, out with my friends, okay? So I'm going to draw a picture of a drawer, okay? So we'll know that it was a draw okay so now that we have the setting the talking characters and the problem in my story now it's time to work on the resolution oh my goodness friends would you believe that mrs owens actually forgot to write the r on her story map no worries i have my handy dandy red marker right here so Let's talk about how I attempted to solve or resolve my problem. Well, friends, the first thing I did was I said to myself, or I thought to myself, rather, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Oh, I have some crazy glue. So I put the crazy glue on my nail. I pressed it down really, really hard. And lo and behold, my nails stuck together. So I'm going to draw a picture of some crazy glue and I'm going to write the word glue for my keyword. So here goes my crazy glue. Put the cap on it. I'm gonna write the word glue, okay? And in addition to that, I'm going to write the word glue nice and big and bold for you, okay? So friends, this happened to be my first attempt to resolve the problem. Let me tell you about the second attempt. Because even though my nail was glued back together, guess what? It still hurt. That's right. So I had to do something about the pain. Otherwise, I was not going to be able to have fun with my friends with all that pain. So, friends, guess what I did? Nope, that's not it. Well, what I did, friends, was I sprayed my nail with some numbing spray. So... I'm going to write numbing for my keyword and I'm going to draw a picture of a spray bottle and I'm going to draw just some spray coming out of that bottle. Now remember Mrs. Owens is not the best artist but I do try my best. So friends, I sprayed my nail and guess what? The pain went away. So now that I was able to successfully resolve my problem. We're at the very last part. Yes, there's a solution, okay? So the solution was I sprayed my nail with the numbing, well, I glued my nail together, then I sprayed it with the numbing spray. My pain went away and I was able to have fun with my friends. So I am going to write the word fun and I'm gonna draw a big old smiley face to remind myself that I was having a good old time with my friends, okay? So, now that I have shared with you my story map all about the day I broke my nail, I want you to create your very own story map about the time you got hurt. Make sure you write your setting, your talking characters, make sure you include your problem, your, your your attempts to resolve your problem, and then finally, your resolution, what happened at the end, okay? I can't wait to see your story map, friends. See you soon.